Welcome back. Looks like the commissioner is ready. With the first pick of the 2019 TV studio production draft, the studio selects Haley Bradshaw. She's a strong choice. Hannah Campbell. What a great pick. Keelan Claiborne. Oh, that's a nice one. Sean Coleman. He's been waiting for this. Ava Cruchon. She's a great addition. Katie Gibbs. Good pick. Haley Kreml. Solid choice. Abby Peak. Ooh, they'll go far with her. Kendall Sowerby. Can't go wrong with that one. Mackenzie Van Zee. Ooh, she'll be great. Tristan Willis. Big moment for him. And that concludes the TV studio production draft for 2019. You're watching Studio 22. Hello and welcome to Studio 22. I'm Haley Bradshaw and joining me on the show today is Oklahoma City University student and musician Ben Johnston. Ben is a singer, songwriter, and performer. Recently, he performed at the induction ceremony for the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. Welcome to the show, Ben Johnston. So Ben, can you tell me a little bit how you got into performing and music and everything? Yeah, sure. So both my parents are actually orchestra teachers and they started me playing the cello when I was around four years old. Uh, it was the sort of basis where if I eat, I practice, and if I practice, I eat. <laughs> so uh, it kind of all blossomed from that. They just laid out uh, a plan for me, basically, mm -hmm. to become a musician and find a way to pay for my school. And that's basically it, yeah. Great. So you're an OCU student. What's your major? I am. I, uh, I'm a vocal performance major and also a cello performance major. Cello, that's really cool. Uh, what other instruments do you play? So, uh, obviously cello, but <laughs> I, I play piano, guitar, and a little bit of ukulele, and I'm starting to learn the banjo. Great. So you mentioned your parents are in this. How did you learn how to play? Did they teach you? Uh, it started out them teaching me, but about a year in, they got me a private teacher because neither of them actually play the cello. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad is a violinist and a violist, mm -hmm. and my mom is a violinist. Um, and so neither of them being cellists, they decided that it was probably the best to get a real cellist to teach me. Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of went from there, yeah. So how did performing come about? Is that just something that comes with the music or? Definitely, I mean, it's always something that you need to practice because it's like, What's the point of getting better at it if you're not going to try and share it with other people? Yeah. And so we had little orchestra concerts and that sort of thing. And eventually we got to the point where we had our own family string quartet. So wow. my mom would be violin one. My sister would be violin two. My dad played the viola and then I'd be the cellist. And then we'd go around and uh, play at weddings or birthdays or whatever we, we did and just kind of get out there. Yeah. So with all these instruments, what's your favorite thing to perform? <sighs> probably, uh, <laughs> it's a tough question, but I'm probably going to have to put it uh, to opera. I, that's really where my heart is, mm -hmm. I think. And there's nothing better than being on stage and hearing your voice fill a room and cover an orchestra and knowing that that kind of power is, is backing you and uh, making that beautiful art. I just yeah. love it. Can you talk a little bit about what performances you've done here at school at OCU? Yeah, sure. So uh, my freshman year, I was involved in The Bartered Bride with Rebecca mm -hmm. Parker. Uh, it's normally an Italian opera, but we did it in English and it was, it was kind of fun. We did like a, a, a punk rock sort of rendition <laughs> you could say of it and that was really fun to be a part of and then sophomore year I got the lead tenor role in the main stage opera Susanna wow. um, it, it was truly an honor to That's be in great. that and it was my first real opera I think to be a part of and it really opened my eyes uh, so that was probably my favorite one I've been in and mm. then just this year uh, pretty recently actually we just finished Donizetti's Lucia di Lemon Moore. Mm -hmm. uh, I played Normano. He was like the captain of the guard. And it was, it was really fun to be a part of because it was my first non-English opera. Mm -hmm. And so it was, it was cool to just kind of reaffirm that I, uh, 
that I was doing what I loved, you know, because um, mm -hmm. I'd never done it before. So it was it was a little scary at first, but uh, once we got in the swing of things and really started learning the music, and it was really fun to be a part of. And also, I got to wear a kilt, and that was <laughs> amazing. So <laughs> that, that's pretty great. All right, um, we're gonna take a little bit of a break, but right when we when we get back, we'll have more of Ben talking about his performances. Sorry. Let's try that again. Keep Oklahoma beautiful. For more information, visit www.keepoklahomabeautiful.com. Oklahoma isn't your room. So don't trash it. This is my city. This is where I learn. Play. Work. Eat. This is my city. This is my home. Welcome back to Studio 22. I'm here with Ben Johnston, and he was just telling us about his recent performances. Ben, can you tell me a little bit how you assimilated into a school with so many performance majors? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, like I said, my parents, both orchestra teachers, they both grew up in Oklahoma, and they raised a lot of students, and they, not all of them, but a lot of them became music educators, mm -hmm. and uh, moved to Oklahoma City, and sort of built this foundation of music education and they sent a lot of students to this university and then uh, they eventually moved back to Springfield, Missouri where I'm actually from and got jobs as orchestra teachers there. Um, but they knew about Oklahoma City and how great of a school it is and that's kind of how I got here, yeah. So is it harder like knowing that everybody here is, you know, here for a job and not for a hobby and, you know, knowing that everybody here is really serious about it? I mean, in some ways it's harder, but it, it's kind of like a double-edged sword because it's, it's really good for some things and kind of bad for others. Obviously, the competition is a lot stiffer, um, but it's also good to be around people that are really good because it forces you to grow with them mm -hmm. um, and it forces you to keep up, you know. So it's, it's something I kind of thrive off of, actually. So. Yeah. So you have school here, then what's the plan for the future? What comes next? Sure. Uh, so after I hopefully graduate, <laughs> um, I would really like to go to grad school. Uh, I'm looking at a couple places in Philadelphia, mostly just performing schools mm -hmm. with really good reputations and really good teachers. That's the most important thing for me. And then after grad school, I am going to uh, basically just travel and audition at different opera houses and see if I can get myself a contract. Yeah. So you have all these plans. How? Does your life revolve around music? What else do you have time for? My life basically just <laughs> revolves around music. Um, it's, it's hard to kind of keep up with other things. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I, I try and make time, obviously, because you can't do the same thing right. forever. So I try and uh, 
go out with friends, you know. Yeah. I, I go rock climbing sometimes. I, I used to mountain bike a lot. But I mean, it's mostly music. <laughs> So on average, like how much time do you spend in a practice room or in class learning music or? Uh, I try and practice cello at least three hours a day. Sometimes mm -hmm. it ends up being more than that. Mm -hmm. Voice, I get in uh, like 30 minute increments at least like eight times throughout the day. I just try and, uh, I think I spend about 18 hours a day in the music school itself. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lot, but I mean, it's, it's good doing what you love, so. So you've got singing, songwriting, performing. What's your favorite aspect of, of creating? Definitely performing. Yeah. I mean, there, there's nothing better than the thrill of being on stage and sharing something you've worked mm -hmm. so hard on yeah. with, with all the people, so. Yeah, that's great. Where do you get the inspiration to write music or to, you know, to like have that emotion when you perform? Um, as far as writing music goes, I, I just kind of base it off of previous life experiences, things that I felt, times I've been emotional, low, mm -hmm. high, uh, just uh, life experiences. And as far as the thrill of performing, I think that's something that just kind of comes naturally. There's always going to be nerves, but you can kind of transfer that into adrenaline mm -hmm. and then use that to boost your performance. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's nothing better than that. Does performing your own music help with that emotion, like help build that adrenaline? I think it can because it's it's cool because you actually know the the full background of what you're performing because you wrote it yourself. Mm -hmm. Whereas with other songs, it's like you're kind of guessing and doing your own interpretation of the artist. Um, so it can help. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Ben. Uh, we'll be back right after this break. No, 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 no! Just what do you think you are doing, Dave? I really think I'm entitled to an answer to that question. I can see you are really upset about this. I know I've made some very poor decisions recently, but I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. Dave, stop, will you? Will you stop, Dave? My name is Eric. There are plenty of teams in every sport they have great players and never win titles. Most of the time, those players aren't willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. One thing I believe to the fullest is that if you think and achieve as a team, the individual accolades will take care of themselves. Talent wins games, but teamwork and intelligence wins championships. I don't work a nine to five, but I have a job to do. I don't wear a tie, but I still wear a suit in my court. My field of work is an average, and my time around the water cooler is limited. I work overtime, but the payoff is worth it. I don't work a nine to five, but I have a job to do. I'm an OCU athlete. I'm an OCU athlete. I'm an OCU athlete. I'm an OCU athlete. Hello there, folks. It looks like a beautiful day today at Oklahoma City University. On the north side, we have a 100% chance of support and hard work as the sports teams make some wins. And on the east side of campus, there's a front of beautiful music and performances coming in, so you can look forward to that. And on the south side near the quad, we're seeing a high chance of students relaxing and soaking up the sun. I'm seeing some hand mixed too. And on the west side is getting a strong breeze of Z's. Students in dorms catching up with some sleep after some schoolwork. I'm Cameron Calloway. Enjoy the OCU weather.
performing Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. It's Ben Johnston. If I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do Is to save every day till eternity passes away Just to spend them with you If I could make days last forever If words could make wishes come true I'd save every day till eternity passes away Just to spend them with you But there never seems to be enough time To do the things you want to do once you find them I've looked around enough to know that You're the one I want to go through time with If I had a box just for wishes And dreams that had never come true The box would be empty Except for the memory of how They were answered by you But there never seems to be enough time To do the things you want to do Once you find them I've looked around enough to know that you're the one I want to go through time with. Stars in retreat. The shot goes up. Devasane comes out of nowhere. And another block for OCU. This guy's on fire. This kid owns OCU's record in blocks, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Earlier today, he was busy crashing the boards. Just a rebounding machine. Even cleaning up the glass. Giving a whole new meaning to garbage time. Devasane, MVP on the court and keeping Oklahoma beautiful off the court. Welcome back to Studio 22. Ben, thank you so much for that wonderful performance. Can you talk to me a little bit about performing and how uh, performing in such this kind of setting would be different from performing maybe at something you did like the Oklahoma Fall Hall of Fame? Sure, I mean, it's, it's definitely different to <laughs> perform in front of a bunch of cameras and people staring at you rather than an audience that's uh, not really paying attention <laughs> or just kind of being background music. But I mean, it's, it's still fun, so. Yeah. So what is your greatest achievement so far, besides obviously being on Studio 22? <laughs> Naturally. Um, probably being a sophomore and being, uh, and given the role of the, the lead tenor in Susanna. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I mean, 
it, it never really happens, and it was truly a blessing to be able to do that. And it's still the favorite show that I've ever worked on. So as a kid, when you were growing up, was getting like lead performances a normal thing for you? And how does that change when you get to college? Well, I mean, I didn't really discover singing until around high school. Mm -hmm. Like I had always sang before, but it wasn't a, like a huge part of my life like it is now. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, like in orchestra concerts and things, I would usually be first chair just because I had practiced the most <laughs> and I was just a step above everyone else. But, uh, and, and in high school, whenever I did do like musicals and things and discovered how much I loved mm -hmm. singing, um, there weren't a lot of guys that could even sing in tune. So, I mean, <laughs> that was, that was nice to be able to step above. But being here, uh, it's, it's definitely different because you know, everyone is good at what they do. Yeah. Um, so you, you have to work a lot harder to, to stay caught up and it's, it's definitely the transition from being a big fish in a small pond to being a small fish in a very large pond. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, Ben. Um, and when we come back, we'll hear another performance by Ben. What? Oh. Uh, when we come back, we'll hear another original song by Ben. What? Tomasone comes out of nowhere and another block for OCU. This guy's on fire. This kid owns OCU's record in blocks, not only on the court, but off the court as well. Earlier today, he was busy crashing the boards. Just a rebounding machine. Even cleaning up the glass, giving a whole new meaning to garbage time. Yamasane, MVP on the court and keeping Oklahoma beautiful off the court. Oklahoma isn't your room. So don't trash it. Performing an original, it's Ben Johnston. I see the water in your eyes I feel the pain but it's time to fly It's gonna be hard for me to sleep without you by my side But remember it's only a goodbye Soon enough you'll be counting sheep And I'll be there waiting patiently We'll dance all night and laugh until we cry Then remember it's only a goodbye I know you had to go, I realize When you lonely look up to the skies When you're down and feeling blue Just know I feel the same way too And remember, it's
it's only a goodbye smell your perfume now and then I close my eyes I can't forget asking myself why to remember it's only a goodbye I know you had to go, I realize When you lonely look up to the skies When you're down and feeling blue Just know I feel the same way too And remember, it's only a goodbye Just remember it's only a goodbye. Wow, thank you, Ben, so much yeah. for that great performance. Um, can you tell me, do you ever get the chance to perform a live song, a song of your own like that for auditions, maybe? This is definitely the first time. So, um, <laughs> it's kind of exciting, Good. you know? get my work out there, but I mean. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching Studio 22. We'll see you next time.